Prior to the installation of a life safety damper in a wall or duct opening, it is essential for the opening to be square. Measure diagonally from the upper corner to the opposite lower corner of each opening. Then, measure from the opposite upper corner to the other opposite lower corner. Both measurements should be the same. If not, the opening must be square before installation. When lifting or handling the damper, make sure it's structurally supported by its sleeve or frame. Do not lift the damper using blades, linkage, actuators, or jack shaft. This will cause damage to the damper and prevent it from operating properly. Proper installation of a fire-rated damper requires the damper and sleeve assembly to be installed in the wall or floor opening using retaining angles on at least one side. Verify the manufacturer's installation instructions for size and thickness of angles. For green heck damper installation, the retaining angles must be a minimum thickness of 20 gauge steel and have minimum 1 and 1 half inch by 1 and 1 half inch legs. Attach the retaining angles to the sleeve using one or more of the following methods. Tack or spot weld, sheet metal screws, nuts and bolts, or steel pop rivets. Retaining angles must be attached to all four sides of the damper sleeve with a minimum of two connections per side. Fasteners should be placed a maximum of 12 inches on center with the first fastener spaced a maximum of two inches from the corner of the sleeve. Check to ensure that the retaining angle fasteners do not interfere with operation of the damper. For traditional two-sided installation, do not secure the retaining angles to the fire separation. The angles should only sandwich the wall or floor and allow for damper expansion during periods of intense heat. Single side retaining angles may be used on horizontal mounted dampers up to 144 by 96 inches or vertically mounted dampers up to 80 by 50 inches, 50 by 80 inches or 40 by 100 inches. Verify the manufacturer's instructions for proper installation. Check the final damper installation to make sure damper has remained square in the opening.